Take two. Let's see you away. You're okay. Okay, come on. Let's go. Let's go. You're okay. Go. Go, go, go. Gotta do an interview. Ziggy. Sit. Good girl. Hey, my name is Ryan Stack. I'm a filmmaker based in Brooklyn, New York. Um, talking on a oversized mic. I guess the videos I do tend to kind of play off of like a core concept per video and kind of stretch it as far as I can take it, sometimes longer than I should, but, uh, but that's kind of what I do, I guess. Starting out, the A-Track and Tommy Trash uh, tune em out video was a video entirely uh, created with dominoes, um, with uh, steady cam moves following the dominoes through a large house that we found in St. Paul, Minnesota. Uh, we shot in St. Paul because the domino expert that we'd hired, uh, this guy Kinetic King, who is a YouTube sensation, um, was based in St. Paul and I was living there at the time. So we shot in this house uh, for 10 days. It was like an endurance mission of just setting up dominoes, moving from you know setup to setup, uh, you know, spending five, six hours in some cases, like setting up these dominoes, hoping to God they don't go, and really just like working with Kinetic King, the domino expert again, to uh, to ensure that we had different gadgets or or methods that would allow us to um, surmount certain challenges in the house, like how do we get up the stairs and he'd propose options, or how do we get into the bathtub and he'd propose options. And by the end, uh, you know, I feel like the entire crew, you know, we weren't experts in dominoes, but we were right there with him, you know, helping build and helping to suggest domino gadgets or kinetic gadget gadgets that might um, get us through certain scenarios in the house. <laughs> It was a video that was entirely lit with uh, UV lights or black lights, and uh, I worked with my uh, DP on that, T.S. Pfeffer from Pure Pictures in Los Angeles, and we basically uh, sourced like these really high-power theatrical grade black lights to allow us to illuminate an entire scene with black light. Um, and we worked with uh, you know, all of our departments, everyone from wardrobe to makeup to ensure that everything that was going to be on camera was very UV reactive. Uh, so everyone that we had like going, you know, to buy wardrobe or buying, you know, nail polish or whatever it might be, would have to go to the stores with one of those little UV lights that would allow them to, uh, to see if things reacted or not. And it was very exciting because of it, because we had, you know, this sense on set where like we, you know, got everyone out there and then we turned these lights on and didn't quite know if it would work before that, but then all of a sudden it just, it all came together. The light was beautiful, it gave this really weird look to it, uh, which was further pushed in post a bit to really brighten the colors. Um, and, uh, and that's that video. Left Hand Free is a song by Alt-J, if you're not familiar, that um, is kind of one of their, I guess their weirder songs. It's uh, it's kind of got this like very shameless American sound to it. A lot of people think that the band like made it as like a fuck you to the label because the label wanted them to make more American friendly songs, radio friendly songs, I guess. I took it as less of like a, you know, a joke video or a fuck you video, more just an opportunity to show this like shameless American summer uh, portrayal of just, you know, people at, you know, people tubing on, on rivers, which I did growing up in Missouri, or, you know, people, you know, on ATVs or shooting fireworks or whatever it might be, just enjoying summer and just that, uh, I don't know, just that awesome time of summer, I guess, summer in, in the Midwest or somewhere wherever in, in the U.S. 
you know, I guess the final output sometimes looks like a Coors Light commercial or something, but uh, um, but that was the intent was just to make something fun and, and honest and not too, uh, too deep, I guess. favorite video of mine still to this day that I've done um, is uh, is the Diplo set it off video just because it it's it was very fun to do I mean I was you know filming pole dancers incredibly talented pole dancers from this group called era um, and uh, had a lot of time to put that together in post uh, just working in after effects myself alone just kind of building out this this uh, this pole just kind of stitching all these shots together um, and just kind of creating this this uh, very focused um, infinite pole dance you know was the was the concept and just kind of having fun with it and just making all these weird transitions and all these you know fun effects that I wanted to play with and, and putting it all together That was a video that I actually wrote when I was um, I was on vacation in Ireland at this beautiful house. I was walking all around the house, all around the grounds and stuff, and just thinking about how how this you know this video might come together based on this song. And then I started to really just enjoy the mix of the song with the environment that I was walking through. And ultimately, that turned out to be kind of the story that I wanted to make. I wanted to shoot the video at this house that I was at on vacation. And I kind of crafted a story as I walked around based on this idea of a long-term love that one might have with someone else. I played off this idea of loss and this woman who has kind of come to the end of a relationship and uh, you know she's an older woman and her her husband has died um, and kind of made this single uh, kind of fixed POV um, over the shoulder tracking shot coming with her throughout the entire shot or throughout the entire house really kind of just showing the beauty of the house showing her her solitude in it and uh, really just giving a chance to um, to let the house shine I guess and the whole video I, I pitched it actually just with a shot walking through the house where I walked through with a 5d and just shot you know what the path might be and then overlaid the type on it which explained okay this is gonna be here this is gonna be here this is what she's gonna do um, and that was uh, that was how I pitched that which was a fun process because normally it's a PDF where you're you know sketching or sourcing images or whatever it might be and just explaining it but this I could actually show it. Gotcha. 